Hi guys, today I will show you how to make smooth camera movements for edits. You can use this effect in your different effects, but today, as example, I will show you my photo effect. If you've been asking me to make this tutorial for a long time, and before I start, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Now I don't distract you anymore, let's go to After Effects. First of all, you need to prepare the clips, and also, if you want, you can copy my composition settings. When you did it, now you need to align it to the center and turn on this option and also if you want motion blur then you need to pre-compose your clips press right mouse button pre-compose and repeat my settings press ok and the same thing you do with your first clip now press s on your keyboard and put the size about 40 or 35 and the same thing you do with your second clip. After that you need to select the rectangle tool and also put this option solid color and just create white solid and align it to the center and put it under your video. Now select your white solid and your video and drag it where you want. You can also change the rotation, click rotation and change it and the same thing you do with your second clip you can just copy your previous white solid just control d put it under your video and change the size then again press align and align it to the center and you can put rotation to zero again select your video and your white solid drag it to other place press rotation and change it like this i also decided to change the size because it was too big if you want you can add drop shadow to your clips to make it go to effects and find drop shadow add to your clip for opacity put 100 and for distance you can put 25 and for softness also 25 then select it press ctrl c Select your other clip and press Ctrl V. After that, you can create white line for white line animation. Just select pen tool and change the fill without it. Press OK and just repeat my steps. Make something like this. After that, you need to turn on 3D on your layers and also create a camera and null object. Press here, new camera with 50 millimeters. Press OK. Then again, press right mouse button, new and null object. For null object, you can on motion blur and also 3D. And then you need to bind your camera to your null object like this. And now you need to animate your camera movement. To do it, press P on your null object and click on clock near position, then uh, press rotation and also uh, choose rotation you want. For me it will be this rotation and maybe this rotation. Press U, go a few frames ahead and just change the position. Now I have something like this. It is not smooth, so I need to fix it. Just press U, select all your keys and press F9. Go to graph settings and choose edit speed graph. And now just play with graph and put it as you like, or you can repeat my graph. Now I like how it looks. Create your second null object in the place where your first animation didn't end. For example, here. Uh, just again press here, new null object. Uh, cut it using combination control 3D. Also turn on motion blur and 3D. And connect your first null object to your second null object. And now you do the same steps. Press P, click on clock, press rotation, click on clock, press U, go a few frames ahead and change the position. Now I have something like this. 
It is also not move, so select all your keys, press F9 and play with this graph. Now it looks better and move. The last thing you need to make it is white line animation. Choose it, open and add trim path, then open it and for end and for start click on clock. Then end put zero, drag a little start, go a few frames ahead where you want the animation. I want it here. So put then go to the end of your uh, camera animation and put 100 and for start also put 100 press u select the keys press f9 and for end repeat my graph and for start also repeat my graph it is too fast so we need to fix it uh, choose all your uh, keys and holding alt drag it so now it looks good you can also add deep glow on your white line go to effects and find deep glow and add to your white line put a tick here repeat my settings put 200 here exposure one to show 100 and smooth blending then go to effects and find drop shadow Add to your white line, put 100, 20, and 10. And that's it. I hope that this quick and simple tutorial was useful for you. And if this is so, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, go to the comments and write your ideas for my next tutorials. So, thanks for your attention, guys. See you soon.